Hello, Martin. Happy Monday. How are you? Hi, Aris. How are you? I'm good. In the mood for a new ice cream? Yeah, sure. Always. Okay. What do you have for me? Uh, we decided not macho, but metro, was it? As opposed yes. to magnum. Yes, yes, yes. Macho is a, is, a, is, a, is, a, is a Croatian brand and it's very good ice cream. Do you have something on your table that looks like ice cream? No, but I tell you what, I got milkshake. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, that looks like a lot of vegetables and very healthy. Well, it's actually oil and water. In fact, it's good old Buckham's engine oil that's green in color mixed with some water. But you can see the water separating out. So all it's all good, isn't it? I mean, if we get water in the oil, it's going to separate out. But it, it doesn't really look pretty, does it? Absolutely not. No, you wouldn't want that in your machine, would you? Definitely not. No. And, and that's the thing, I think. Sometimes when you talk to engineers and maintenance guys, they always think water is the most destructive contaminant. Because as we've said in previous episodes, it's the hidden enemy, particles. Nobody thinks of them as being the most destructive because they just don't see them. Whereas water, it's visible. We can kind of see the problems it would create. And that is the whole issue here, isn't it? Yeah, but the fact that we see it uh, doesn't mean much. We have to remove it. Yeah. Uh, the trouble and is, I I think guys tend to sort of accept, well, the industry I work in is like this. It's going to happen all the time. There's not nothing we can do about it. Yeah. And then they remove it once or twice, but they don't remove the, the source, the cause. And then it doesn't make sense. So this is why I wanted to talk to you, to you about the storage. About yeah, where sure. lubricant needs to be stored to be in a good shape for our assets. Yeah. You know, and it's, it's not just about water either. I mean, I don't know about you, but in places like the Middle East in the middle of summer, ambient temperatures 50 degrees centigrade, the oil supplier has the drum stood out in bright sunlight at 50 degrees centigrade. That's the supplier, never mind the customer doing the same thing. Yes, seen that, unfortunately. So, you know, we've got to get that part of it right. And I guess that starts with the lube store. It's the heart of the plant. It's where it's like your heart pumping the blood, pumping the lube around the site. And if we don't get that part right, we're affecting all the machines. Yet people still want to focus their best practice efforts on their critical machines and ignore the rest. Yes, uh, I see that very often. You know, we take care about the criticals, but we don't care take care about the rest. And then you see this uh, unfortunate Pareto, Pareto split that we had. Yes, the, 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 the most of the expensive uh, failures happen on the critical machines, but we have a zillion of failures on non-critical machines that cumulatively bring a huge loss. So yeah. you are again at the same number. Yeah. So yeah, definitely we want to try and get that right, get the lubricant storage right, get the handling and the transfer of the lubricants right, apply best practice there, and it's a win-win across the site for everything, critical, non-critical machinery. We can move from that firefighting reactive mode into that proactive mode addressing root cause. And, you know, your oil analysis program will show that change because it'll reflect what's been happening in the way of implementing best practice. Exactly. Am I right when I say, and I just want your confirmation if I, if I can get it, Am I right if I say that most of the contamination happens in the loop store during the storage of the lubricant? Uh, to a degree, I think, depending on how bad the actual practices are. Um, you know, again, the machines themselves probably have issues uh, that need to be addressed. The seals, the breathers, etc. We need to close off all the ingress points. But yeah, I think uh, as much contamination happens in the lack of housekeeping in the lubricant store as it does out of the machine interface. Yeah, so loop store is something that we can do a lot about. So it's a low hanging fruit. We can do something fast. We can make it quite simple and easy, a successful program and have a huge benefit. Yeah, and I guess that's something to talk about is the perception that that creates as well. Excellent. So thank you for this discussion. Very fruitful and very interesting. And I hope I can get you next Monday to, to sit and talk to me. I'm sure we can be there on time, as usual. Thank you. See you next Monday.